our dear friend and colleague Michael Medved wrote a piece this week in USA Today that said that um, there's a perception that there's some invisible army of e- evangelical Christians who will deliver victory next year. And he cites uh, your group, uh, as, as he puts it, one of the nation's most influential organizations promoting these values, Ralph Reed's Faith and Freedom Coalition, conducted a survey after Obama's victory and reported, at least in Florida and Ohio, evangelical turnout between 75 and 80 percent. Michael asserts that there really isn't a shortage of evangelical Christians who are staying home, that we can't count on, you know, this so-called missing army to deliver the vote next year. Is there apathy among the evangelical electorate, or is he right that that's sort of overstated? Well, you know, I talked to Michael before he wrote that piece, and I've talked to a number of other people about it. And basically, the, the, the short answer is, is yes and no. Mm-hmm. Um, if, you, if you look at the data, we did an after-action analysis of the turnout of evangelicals and faithful Catholics. These are pro-life Catholics who attend Mass at least once a week or more often. Mm-hmm. They were in our turnout universe in Ohio and Florida in 2012. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. And we contacted them an average of seven to 12 times for, per voter. In a lot of right. cases, Mike, we actually knocked on their door. Wow. When we went back after the election, we found that in Florida, uh, about 85% of those people voted. In, in Ohio, the figure was in the high 70s. Gotcha. Now, it's, it, it, it is true that there were millions of evangelical voters who didn't go to the polls in 2012. Mm -hmm. It is also true that there were millions of evangelicals who didn't go to the polls when George W. Bush was reelected in 04. Right. When he was elected in 00, when Ronald Reagan was elected in 84. Mm -hmm. Not, you you don't get a hundred percent turnout if it's not Venezuela or Cuba. (laughs) Right. So, and it is also true, and, and I'm not, disputing what Michael's saying because he's using our data. Sure. It is also true that there are millions of unregistered evangelicals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That number is harder to arrive at. Yeah, that's a hard number the, to ascertain. Yeah, we think on the low side it's 6 million, on the high side it's 10 million. Here's the bottom line. We need to be effective citizens. We need to turn out. But if we don't do well across the board with Hispanics, with African Americans, with women, with seniors, with young people, we're not going to win. You can't just do it by turning out people of faith, but you've got to turn out people of faith. 